Have you been in a meeting lately? In Google Meet? And you've been in a meeting with a bear? Well, more than likely they've been using a tool called Animes by FaceRig. It's the natural successor to FaceRig, which I've done several videos on. This video feed can replace your face directly with an animated avatar. How much fun is that going to be? Especially for meetings, school conferences. Hey, talking to your friends. Make sure people are tolerant before using it, though. Let's not get anybody sacked or people in trouble with their teachers with Google Classroom. Either way, this video feed can be imported into your video conferencing tool of choice. Let's see how this is done in the anime software and how we can import it into Google Meet. Going to www.animes.us, you can see the official Animes by FaceRig site. Now, this site will give you all the information on where to get it, how to get it, and what it's compatible with. You can see at the top, it's also got an iPhone app, an editor, and there's documentation there if you want to become an Animes artist. Also, you can get this on Steam for PC. Now, what can it do? As you can see, we've got a demonstration running on the web page in front of us, and it's quite good to have a look at that and have a listen and see what's going on. But typically, you get the idea. You replace your face with an avatar. Let's check it out on Steam. Here we are on Steam, and here is the Steam page. Now, at the moment, there's a release date of it coming soon. We've currently got a beta mode of this, and the software works fine. And the developer of Holotech Studios that created FaceRig and Animes has worked on this. Now, a few changes to this model, um, typically. These changes are is that it's, it's a free service and there's a subscription service. Okay, so there's no getting away with that. Um, and you can also buy coins for different avatars. I'm in the Animes software, quite a different and streamlined interface to what we've had before in FaceRig, where it was very busy. What you can see straight away is at the top, uh, we've got uh, a menu screen for animes where you can select avatars, props, backgrounds, animations, and check your settings. You can also see a picture with my face and my real self uh, in my very busy workshop background. Um, and you can see the dots that are tracking my face around here. Nothing's on my face. It's doing this all by itself with the power of the webcam. As I open my mouth, the shark opens its mouth because it's tracking my face with the eyebrows as well. And you can see your avatar also moves. So again, I think this is working better than what face rig was. It seems to be more dots, it's tracking more points. And my webcam is a good, I'd say, two feet away from my face. So as you can see it is tracking quite well for what we're doing. Okay, so that's one thing. We've discussed the dots and what I actually look like on the screen, which is great. Um, you can move this around should you want to. Again, you can select your feed as well if you've got other feeds. Again, I've got a stream OBS virtual webcam um, as well, and we'll see about in future videos getting this working with stream OBS. Right, so import. You can import an avatar. You can subscribe for a limited import. Now, don't know where you come down on subscriptions. This is the way FaceRig and Animes are going with subscriptions. That's up to them. Purpose of this video is looking at Animes and getting it to work with the video conferencing tool of choice. Okay, so here we go. Uh, scrolling down, you can see all our avatars down here. Right, we've, uh, see I've got a shark who's holding a little squid. What is different um, in regards to face rig is you can put animations and key them right if you see this but this bar down here we've got animations click on that that brings up the animations bar pressing q my shark waves pressing w i don't actually know what he did then snorted um what else he do press e points at himself see if we can move these around we should be able to yes we can it's a good interface. It's very clean, very simple. Probably made with mobile in mind. 
Pressing E points to itself. Uh, pressing R, waves. There you go. So you've got full animations there. Let's look at another avatar. So there you go. We'll have him, Abel Jean, who were misses. There it is. Nice use of that for a hat and a bit of hair. Let's press Q. Out comes a hand. Pressing W. Does this sort of motion, which is good. Um, we've got the waving of the finger. And we've got our... Right. Okay. So we've got our avatar. Let's switch, switch back to the, the shark. I quite like the shark. Now, all these avatars do tend to use a, a credit system and a subscription system. So, um, if you go to popular avatars, you can see there's a Donald Trump one there. And to unlock that, you need 399 tokens. Well, I've used all the 1500 tokens up that I had uh, on the avatars that I've got. Some came for free. It's a shame they don't import the face rig avatars yet, but they might do, as this is still in beta. Let's talk about um, backgrounds. So we've typically got a gray background. We can choose from backgrounds in this panel. You can import a background and let's import something in, I think from a bit of Battlestar Galactica. Let's do a screenshot just for demonstration purposes. There you go. We'll load in a background look and it works really well with the background that i've put in you can also use green screen confirm that for even better editing in your software application of choice and i tend to use this um, typically when i'm using things like microsoft teams or something like that as well but we're talking about google meet here so what i'm going to do i'm going to pick something that looks pretty much um fishy that's about as fishy as we, I think we can possibly get. We'll go for the pool. And that's our background changed. I think it works really well. Now you can also record within Animes as well by hitting the record button. And that will then record your video, which you can then play back. As you can see, the frame rate seems to be jerking quite a bit. I'm um, not entirely sure what all that's about, but we'll test it out later. So we'll press stop after that eight to nine seconds of video. Um, and then you can also put props on as well let's save this recording say save as um we'll put it in battlestar galactica and we'll just say um animes test or should i say animes test okay i'll we'll just put it in here select folder um say new folder test in there we're done and it's saved in that one particular location as an mpeg and we'll go back and look at that in a minute so we talked about animations right we've talked about avatars we talked about backgrounds talked about recording take a screenshot and that's also going to be very good as well imagine taking a screenshot like that Again, save it in your location of choice. Um, look at your background. Confirm a green screen background, for example, and then do a big cheesy grin. That'll be really good and easy for editing to cut out and put in any picture you've got. Let's save that again. Right, so that's done. Saves as a PNG. Brilliant. Um, what's next? We talk about animations, we talk about backgrounds, talk about avatars. Let's talk about props. Okay, props took a bit of messing about to handle in Face Rig. I can honestly say within animes, they're better. So if you want a hat on your shark, there it is. I want to if I put my head down, you can see the hat has gone right on there. Uh, you can make the hat bigger. If you want to, you can change the colors, you know, on certain items. Uh, put, a, put some headphones on. However, they work. Now, they're quite small. So let's expand them. 
And there's a shark wearing a set of headphones. Now that's got to be worth a screenshot, isn't it, really? Right? <laughs> oh, the fun you can have with this. Right, okay, so we've done all that. We've talked about backgrounds, animations. There's a shop as well. Put the shop look. You can buy more tokens. Import your creations. Look at your subscriptions, how much you want a month. For free, you can do this for a 45-minute session, which kind of marries up with what you get with currently the free version of Zoom. Again, you've got Google Meet. There's no limit at the moment on what you can do in regards to the length of meetings. And you can import it into other packages as well. And you can see you've got different options. If you subscribe, subscribe to uh, £99, $99 a year, uh, unlimited virtual webcam, not just 45-minute sessions, You've got import your avatars, which you can across the board. Uh, import avatars. Uh, for the free version, it will cost you 99 cents to Im import them, but unlimited for your, the paid. Remove watermarks. Use your iPhone as your face tracker. Export videos in MP4. Well, we've seen that works. Uh, stream 60 frames per second. And pro streamer commercial rights, if you want to make a lot of money out of it. And there's some rights there as well, which I'm not really going to go into. Okay, so that was what it was all about. How much are the coin packs? Well, let's have a look at that shop. Coin packs. $4.99. 2000 gets is for $9.99. And 6000 for $19.99. As you can see, I've burnt through mine already. Now, I can zoom in for my creation with the mouse wheel. All right, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming out. Okay, so that's quite a good feature. Um, can't manoeuvre around for the 3D version, unfortunately. But there you go. So we've talked about the interface. I think we've gone through that quite extensively. Get this working with Google Meet. Ideal for classrooms. Ideal for work. Ideal for working with your friends. Make sure you've got people with a sense of humour. So we've got our avatar. And um, the key bindings can tell me that. You can move your avatar up and down by holding down the control key and using the arrow keys. We can also rotate him to the side by using control A and D. And then we can also move him up and down. So you can say, ha ha, I can talk from the side. So that's quite a good look for our avatar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a Chrome browser into Meet. Um, we're going to look at our settings, into the settings, into video, Amaze Virtual Camera, there it is, set your resolution, I always set mine to max, but that's down to my own preference with the broadband, we're going to join now, right, and the picture is frozen, don't worry, what you haven't done is you haven't broadcast, once you broadcast, it'll work, and there you are, it's working. Ha, ha, ha. So there you go. That's what you've got to do. Where I have found problems with this is changing the feed in mid-meeting. So typically what I, have, what I normally do is I turn off the broadcasting. Okay. Um, if I want to view my own image in my Google meeting, uh, close down animes. So I exit. So that's the feed gone for the camera. Um, then what I do is I go into my settings in Google Meeting, look at the video, change it from the Amaze virtual camera down to my Microsoft Life camera. That then changes. And then you're back with me and my busy workspace. So the same works with backdrops as well. So the backdrops changed. Um, until Google Meet gets its own backdrops in there, it's a good function to add, just add some backdrops, I think, as well. Um, other, other tools like that you can use, like Chromacast. Thanks very much for watching. This has been how to get animes working with Google Meet. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have fun with it. I'll see you soon.